your, I guess, uh, biggest takeaway from the last two weeks? What kind of pleased you most, I guess? How guys responded to each situation. Um, I said one of the uh, most valuable moments of the trip uh, was going to be when we stumbled. How did guys respond to it? Played a really tight game uh, against Arkansas, and I love how the guys responded to it the next day. And even right after the game, it was just the togetherness. We battled. We learned a lot from this game. Let's make sure we make adjustments real quick tomorrow. Um, and even, you know, one thing I had mentioned this before, one thing that really impressed me about Caraway is he, he took a bad read on a pop-up and he didn't give up. You know, he, like some, some guys watch the ball land behind him. Other guys go after it and get dirty trying to, you know, do whatever they can, not worried about what the look is, just getting the job done. And it told me a lot about that young man. It's not, nothing I most people didn't already know. He's a competitor. He's going to do whatever it takes to win. He's a gamer. Um, and so I saw a lot of that from our position players and our pitchers. I think there's obviously a few things that we need to continue to sharpen up. Um, just being like stuff on the base pass. Uh, our catch play continued to get better. I mean, I know there's a lot of good that came from it, but you know, it's not going to stop us today from going to practice and making sure we stay humble and continue to push forward because it's still very early in the season and um, the team that stops making adjustments, the, the, the coaching staff that stops serving uh, one another and their players as opposed to worrying about themselves, that's an issue. And I think that's our main objective is looking around us and making sure that everyone's in a good space. Uh, sounds like Aiden not going to throw this week, just kind of more precautionary than anything. What led into that decision and just how would you assess where he's at? Well, it's, it's early. I think for a lot of our guys right now as we're trying to uh, make sure that we're peaking at the right time of the season, uh, it's chilly, you know, and getting back home and not trying to rush anything. Got a couple guys that just maybe have a, uh, a few dings or what have you, and I'd, I'd rather look around and say this is a great opportunity for other guys to get out there and play. Dallas Macias jumped in, got some uh, playing time last couple days when – uh, Casper uh, just had a little a little nick, and we're just making sure uh, the guys are are progressing. I don't want to put them at anyone at risk. I think that's the biggest thing is the mental and physical uh, health of our guys. And, and we all saw what kind of electricity came out of uh, May's arm last week. Oh, what a great uh, pitching uh, duel that was. Uh, so just having some tightness and stuff. We just wanted to make sure that we're not you know rushing back to anything. Let's play catch. Let's stretch it out. Let's make sure that we're going about it the right way as opposed to saying, hey, you know, it's week three of the season. Let's get out there and throw 100 pitches and, and roll with it. So just we're going to take our time on it. Um, you know, he's not the kind of guy or any of our guys really, especially Aiden, that want to take their time on anything. They want to attack it right now. Uh, so I guess I get to be the one pulling the reins and being the bad guy. Was there any medical testing required, like an x-ray or an MRI or anything, or did you guys just evaluate him? How you feeling, big guy? Okay, good. You know, well, here's how I see things and where we're going to go with it. So um, really just getting back from the road trip, we'll get out there today and move around. And, um, you know, I think the biggest thing, Monday we traveled, so Tuesday was uh, off, and today, you know, we'll, we'll shake off some of the cobwebs from sitting around. Hopefully you guys finished up a lot of their their classwork, getting back on track with all that stuff. But, just gonna, uh, you know, I don't think any of that stuff is ne necessary. Like to jump into it and start uh, worrying too much. Let's just take our time with it and see how the body's feeling. Um, you know, you're not trying to overanalyze anything. I think it's just again precautionary. Um, and, but I know how a lot of people can read into everything a little too much, uh, just if they don't know. And obviously, I'm quite quite protective of of, of these young men and whatever they got going on. And, but we'll see how today goes. So tentative target for Aiden is to come return next week against Kelsey. I mean, always it's a, um, <coughs> after taking a couple days of just relaxing and making sure that the throwing progression is what's important. We'll see how the how this weekend goes uh, for him and also for uh, you know the other guys throwing. Again, I, I look at it as a great opportunity for the guys that are taking the bump um, to get out there. We went into the season knowing we had a lot of guys that we felt really good about uh, throwing lots of innings. So um, kind of curious to see how those starts go. And the opportunity for them, uh, next couple home series, I know he's wanting to get out there and throw, especially in, in front of our fans here at Goss. But um, I think a lot plays into it, especially with the weather. 
if it's going to be raining a little bit, and sometimes when you put a guy out there and he throws one inning and then the rain, you're sitting down for a little bit and getting back up. So just being very cautious of those things too. I don't know if I'll necessarily announce anything. Um, I'll talk to you again next week. Yeah, we will. <laughs> How will you approach the week? I, I kind of was thinking Jaron might go tomorrow, but do you have that laid out? Yeah, um, we just uh, finished discussing that. Uh, Lawson will go uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, Hunter will throw Friday. Um, and then Kamatz and Segura, that's our plan as of right now. And, um, but the night, you know, again, these guys all want to throw at any given time. Hunter not throwing last weekend. Um, you know, Segura and all those guys going long. It put us in a good spot knowing, hey, what, what could possibly happen this week and what kind of uh, spots need to get filled. So. Uh, Jaron will be real fresh for, for Friday, which we're excited to see, and I know he's excited to pitch in front of uh, uh, Goss fans. What were your emotions after Joey's return that, that first game? Uh, uh, I think uh, everyone just wanted to give him a big hug. Mm-hmm. You see the excitement on his face. And then getting to do it again, um, you know, in, in the Rangers Big League Stadium, I know that was an exciting moment for him. You just tell, but he's trying to push all that away and just, hey, what's my job? What can I go do for the guys? Um, I think getting that first one out of the way was big. Filling up the strike zone, you know, landing his slider, throwing some heaters, uh, some really competitive heaters in the zone too. Uh, you know, it's nice, especially finishing out the game. Some about, you know, regardless of what the score is, finishing out the game and going through the line and, you know, uh, giving some love to the catcher and dabbing it up with the guys. Um, I think there's a lot of, of power to that, uh, especially for a guy that's going to throw some big pitches for us this year. But, what do you feel like your lineup took away from facing Hagen Smith on Friday? Uh, making adjustments. I mean, he was dialed. He was hitting all of his spots. He's going 99 and all the way from the far, far side of first base. Um, so he had a good uh, vertical approach angle. You know, it's it's velocity. Um, slider was sharp. He was dotting down the zone. Um, but, you know, regardless, striking out that many times, uh, uh, regardless of who it is, and, and just opens everyone's eyes. Okay, we got to keep training. We got to prepare for this thing. Um, are we going to face him again? I don't know. I think everyone walked out of that game and said we do want to face him again. We want to face, you know, all the the best arms out there. It's what's going to make us better. And the guys love the challenge as opposed to hoping for something less than that, which is exciting. Um, but just making adjustments, going up there with a plan, understanding if a guy's throwing 100 miles an hour, you can't cover the entirety of the plate, and um, you have to be ready. You have to have a good move uh, with your hands. And start too early, you're going to be susceptible to swinging us up, down and out of the zone. Uh, but I think the guys are going to use that, especially out in the home, they can use the cage uh, to drive them forward. They're preparing for that guy, preparing for guys like him. Just like last year, the guys were upset we didn't get the base schemes. You know, the best pitcher in the country, they want to face him, which is, that's a very positive thing to have. Do you guys have a way of replicating that kind of stuff to practice against? Yeah, I throw left-handed from five feet away and I still couldn't throw that hard no. um, hard to replicate that kind of stuff but a lot of times it's you know uh, angled BP using the machines especially with you know really spinning it to uh, have guys have to get on top and getting on time uh, coach Gibson sets together a really good plan for our hitters challenging them making sure they're feeling good with the basics but also putting together some stuff that's uh, out of the ordinary and just testing how we're going to respond to it. So uh, a good mix of both, but hard to replicate that as we don't have any coach on staff with our right now. Do you guys have a way of getting one of those traject machines? The one the big leaguers You're going to make a donation and <laughs> line that up for us? You got machines, though. We, got, we have quite a few yeah. machines, yeah. We, we have jugs and, and hacks and line them up from every different angle and uh, close, up, down, you name it. But uh, I have seen a lot of those... Uh, projector uh, machines and I think there's some use to it but um, I don't know, we got plenty of other gadgets that we use and I think it's just depends on the guy on, on yeah. what situation or what tools we're going to use for him. Last hey, with uh, Brady, I assume yeah. he kind of hurt his ankle there. Collide with the out that pop fly. No, yeah, no, no <laughs> collision or anything like that. Um, just more so like a little catch in the turf. Oh, okay. But he's already responded really well and I know he's going to be pushing me to be back in the lineup. You envision to play this weekend? So we'll see how it goes around the I'll probably be pretty hard on him as I always am, especially with our older guys. I try to, you know, 
really see. I mean, I know Brady's gonna be like following me around and angry at me. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah let me know. Like, put me in. Well, yeah. he got a six-game hitting streak, and then you give him, you yank him. Yeah, yeah you gotta keep him humble, then, right? And then the sophomore comes in. He's in the cleanup hole all of a sudden. <laughs> now, what's he? What's he doing back there? You it's know, good. a little competition. It's great. <laughs> it's good. All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.